When we were learning about arithmetic mean in our earlier videos, then we discussed one point that whenever we have to calculate average, we cannot simply use arithmetic mean in each and every condition. And we said that it all depends upon the situation or the condition given. And on the basis of that only we decide whether we can use arithmetic mean or median or mode. Well, this video tutorial is about mode. So we will learn what do we mean by mode? How do we calculate it? And using some real world examples, we will learn that what's the difference between uh, using between using arithmetic mean and mode. That is when you will use arithmetic mean and when you will use arithmetic mode. So first let's learn that how we calculate mode. Suppose we have this data set, we have this data set and in this data set we have some values. So the values are 1, 2, 3, again 1, 14, 14, 15, 16, 14, 1, 1, 7, 2, 2, 3. These values represent something. We are not going into that detail that what these values actually represent. Our focus is only on this data set that contains some values. Now if someone asks you that what will be the mode of this data set? In order to calculate the mode, you'll have to look at that particular number or value in the given data set, which is occurring most number of times. So if you look here, you have one here, you have one here, you have one here, and you have one here. So one is occurring four times. Then you have two here, you have two here, then you have two here. Two is occurring three times. You have three here, you have three here. So three is occurring two times. Then you have seven here. Seven is occurring only one times, one time. Then you have 14, 14 and 14. So 14 is occurring three times. Then you have 15. So 15 is occurring one time. And then you have 16. And 16 is occurring only one time. Now clearly, one is that value or number that is occurring four times. And that is a maximum number of times in this out of all the numbers, it's the maximum number of times in this given data set. Therefore, mode in this condition, in this question will be one for this data set. Wait a second. What if our data set was something like this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's say we have this, these values. Now, if someone asks you that what will be the mode in this condition where each number or value is occurring only one time. In that case, in that case, remember, each number or value will be the mode of that particular data set. In this condition, where all the values or number are occurring, occurring one number of time, each number will be the mode. So one will be mode, two will be mode, 3 will be mode, 4 will be mode, and up to 10. So all these numbers are actually mode. It means that for a given data set, you can have more than one mode. What if your data set was something like this? 1, 1, 1, 1, then 2, then 2, then 2, then 2, then 3, then 3, then 4, 4, 4, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. What if your data set was something like this? Now you can clearly see that one is occurring four times. Same with two. And same with four. Right? So one, two, and four, these three values are actually occurring four times. 3 is occurring only 2 times 
and rest all numbers are only occurring one time. So in this condition, mode will be 1, 2 and 4. So for a given data set, you will choose that value or number as the mode of that data set which occurs most number of time and if a data set has values where all values are occurring only one time then all the numbers will be did will be the mode of that data set and that you can have more than one value as the mode for a given data set okay now let's Take some real world example and let's try to learn that when do we apply mode and when we apply arithmetic mean and why do we say that say that not in every condition you can use arithmetic mean and not in every condition you can use mode. Suppose an, in a small town you have a very big factory and in that small town workers lives there, live there. There are total 100 workers. Each worker's salary is 1 lakh per year. Per annum, their salary is 1 lakh. In the same small town, one of the owners of that factory, one of the owners of that factory lives there. Okay, let's say that um, there are of total number of four owners of that factory, but one owner lives there and his or her salary is rupee, rupees 40 crore per year. Now, if someone asks you that what will be the average uh, salary of this small town? If it is asked that average salary, then average salary means that what is that, you know, number, salary that an average person earns there, okay, in that small town or in that, in that locality. If we use arithmetic mean, if we use arithmetic mean, then in order to calculate average, then what you will do? So arithmetic mean will be what? That you'll have to first add all those values and divide by total number of values, right? Remember that? So you have 100 workers and each worker earns 1 lakh. Each worker earns 1 lakh per annum and this 40 crore. And divided by 101 because 100 workers and this one man that is the owner and when you'll calculate this arithmetic mean then this arithmetic mean will be 40 lakh 59,406 something around this value okay now this value tells what this is actually what average is this really the average salary of this small town where 100 workers are earning only 1 lakh per year and just one owner is earning 40 crore per year and here you have calculated arithmetic mean which shows that average salary of this per average salary per year for this small town where 100 workers live and they earn some minimum wage wages so is is this value representing, uh, you know, giving a correct, uh, you know, uh, explaining the correct, uh, correct scenario? No, this value is not explaining the correct scenario because just only one person is earning 40 crore, but 100 workers are earning just 1 lakh per year, right? And this is explaining, uh, this number is telling you that, hey, you know, uh, average person is actually earning 40 lakhs, somewhere around 40 lakhs per year. That's wrong. In that case, in that case, comes the role of mode. How? Now, see that 100 workers are earning 1 lakh. So, 10, 1 lakh per year. So, 1 lakh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, 1 lakh, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, 1 lakh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so on. And this will continue around... Uh, uh, up to 100 times because 100 workers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 okay so this is the salary of the 100th worker and then just this one value that is 40 crore 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 okay so 
one, uh, one lakh hundred times and just 40 crore. Now, if you calculate mode in order to calculate the, uh, in order to tell the average salary for this small town per year salary, average salary. In that case, if you calculate mode, then mode will exactly tell you that, okay, there are hundred times one lakh, right? One lakh is occurring hundred times for this given data set. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Mode will, will be one lakh and this will be average salary per year. And you can clearly see that how exactly it's telling us the average salary per year salary for this small town where 100 workers are actually earning just 1 lakh per year. So when you calculated arithmetic mean, it gave you value 40 lakh 59,406. So this was arithmetic mean telling you average salary. And here this is mode that is telling you average salary. Now you can clearly compare it in both these two values and you can see that how exact mode gave us the value, right? So this is the importance of, uh, you know, it all depends upon the condition whether uh, you'll use uh, arithmetic mean or mode.